Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is Helson's Computer Repair here with another quick tutorial. So you got LibreOffice installed and you pretty much tried to create your new document, pretty much like a Word document or an Excel or a PowerPoint, but somehow when you save the file, it gets in a different format and let's say your professor or another person that's opening the file, like for Office, and doesn't want to be able to get it or if they don't have the options to open it. Well, there's a few little things that you can do to change the default save as format and I'll be showing you how to do that. So let's go ahead and open up pretty much the first one called the writer document. Now an example again, if you press file, save as, you do see that it saves in a different format. This one's saving as an ODF text document, so an ODT, and that's usually the problem. And to choose this, you can just choose the file and select Word, where it says 2007 to 365, that's pretty much Office 365, as a docx right here. And that'll be a little bit of pain to do this every single time. So to fix this problem, all you have to do is go to Tools, and then go to Options. Then from there, you'll see an option where it says Load and Save. Go ahead and expand that file, and select General. And right here where it says Always Save As, we're going to go ahead and change this format. So this one right here is pretty much a Word document, so it is a text document. And we're going to change this format right here to be a Word 2007 to-365. That's pretty much the docx for used for Word from Microsoft Office, pretty much. And you can press Apply. Now we've got this one set, but instead of having to open up every single other program, like the Presentations one, or the one that's pretty much for the cal calculations, pretty much, it was called Excel, we don't have to open those right now. We can go to the next one and choose like the spreadsheet right here. And spreadsheet right here would be the Excel one and press apply. And the next one that we can choose for this is the presentation that would be pretty much the PowerPoint. PowerPoint presentations pretty much. And we'll choose that one as the PowerPoint select right here, 2007 2-365 again. There's a PPTX also and press apply. And after you're done creating those files, it's pretty much set. So you can go to different ones and you're going to choose which one. So it's a presentation, if I choose a text document, it's automatically going to choose them. If I choose a spreadsheet, it's already choosing an Excel. If I use a presentation, it's going to choose a PowerPoint on the PPTX, pretty much. So I'm going to press OK. So now if I open up the writer, pretty much library writer, that's pretty much the word. I'm going to press Save As. And here is the default Save As type. Now if you don't believe me by changing that setting, so you're not going to have to this to every other one, then let's go ahead and open up LibreOffice again. And I'm going to go ahead and choose pretty much the spreadsheet right here, the calculation spreadsheet. And I'm going to press File, Save As, and here's the default format right here in Excel. Now to show this again right here, you can open up the LibreOffice the same way, and you can choose the Impress Presentation, and it'll open up the program. Now if this is being so much a pain real quick, I just want to show you another option to open up these programs. You don't have to open up LibreOffice, just another route. You can go to the Start menu, and scroll down to see a folder called LibreOffice right there. And you can just choose the same way as, like, an example, the LibreOffice impressions right here. And you can select it. It gives you the same location for it. So on this one, I'm going to go ahead and press Cancel because I don't want to need a specific template on there right now. And I'm going to go ahead and press File, Save As. And here it is already set up for a PowerPoint format for Microsoft Office. And that's pretty much it. If you want to change it back to the other one, you can do the same way by going back. But it's however you feel and how your files to be saved. Thanks for watching from Helton's Computer Repair, and I will see you on our next video. Thanks for watching, guys. If you just like this video, then hit that button. But if you like it and you want to see more, hit that like button. Get subscribed, comment, and tell us what other tech videos you want to see. Consider checking out our merch store. Link in the video description. And for the rest, I will see you on the next video.